Welcome to So You Know. I'm Russell Conti with Sewing Art Center. Today I'd like to teach you how to install a lap zipper successfully. You ready? Let's get right to it. The tools you're going to need for today's project are the following. You're going to need good quality pins. You'll need something to trim your threads with. You'll need good quality thread. Of course, you'll need a zipper foot for your standard sewing machine. A seam ripper, chalk, and you'll need some good quality sewing needles. In this case, I'm going to use a size 70 because I'm working with a lightweight woven fabric. And of course, you'll need a zipper, just a standard zipper. Most instructions call for a 7-inch installation. I typically like to use a 9-inch. It makes it a little bit easier. What we want to do first is go ahead and finish our edges in some fashion that makes them more stable. The second thing is to go ahead and mark 8 inches down from the top of the garment. Okay, the unfinished top, not the finished top. And I just, in this case, just marked with a pin. My seam allowance in this case is 5 eighths of an inch. And I'm simply going to start from the bottom and start sewing toward the top. You want to be as careful and cautious as possible, making sure that you're sewing right on the seam allowance. Now that we're getting close to the place of the 8 inch mark where the pin is, we're going to go ahead and sew to it and stop just before hitting the pin and back stitch. So we're starting from the bottom of the garment. We've sewn to where the zipper is going to be installed and we're going to remove the pin at this point. Our next step is to go ahead and finish the rest of the seam, but we're going to finish it with a basting stitch. And a basting stitch is simply the longest stitch your machine will make. It's a temporary stitch that will hold the, the seam together before we press. It tends to move kind of fast when you're doing this because the stitch length is very long, so be mindful and sew slowly so that you're sewing very accurately. Once you've sewn off the edge, go and raise a foot up, but leave a long thread tail. That way your basting stitch will stay in place when you get ready to press it. Otherwise, sometimes it'll pull apart. Our next step is simply to press the seam allowance flat and open. Now, once we press the seam allowance flat and open, we're going to remove the basting stitches. The easiest way to do that is simply to break the stitch just above the back stitch at the bottom and to pull from the top. You can gather it on there and just release. And the basting stitch on one side is removed and we'll remove it from the other side. And now we're ready for our zipper installation. Now before we get ready to install the zipper, let's talk about the body parts. First things first, we have the zipper tape to which the zipper coil is attached. We have the zipper pull at the top, we also have stops at the top to keep the zipper from coming off. We also have stops at the bottom to keep the zipper from coming away. Okay, those are your basic conventions when you're looking at a standard zipper. Now, when we get ready to install the zipper, what we're going to do is take our garment that we already pressed, and I call it garment left versus garment right, but garment left right here, where the seam allowance is pressed, we actually want to tease that out about an eighth of an, an, eighth of an inch. What we're going to do then, once we've teased this edge out, is place the top of the zipper one quarter inch down from the upper edge of the garment, right at the top edge, where the facing would go or the waistband would go in this case. And we want it to be one quarter inch down from the top edge. And so we've rolled that out an additional eighth of an inch, and then what we're going to do is pin. And we're going to pin it all the way down, continuing to keep that eighth of an inch rolled out. Be generous with the eighth of an inch. Don't be skimpy. Okay. So if we were going to call it something, I'd call it like a fat eighth. But better a little bit too much than a little bit too little. And we'll continue pinning down the length of the open edge okay, until we get down to the bottom here, at the bottom of the zipper. And then we're ready for sewing. So we've pinned from the top all the way down to the bottom where the stitches conclude on the basting. Okay, We've rolled the edge out so that's one eighth of an inch away from the, it, where it was originally. And we're going to get ready to sew at this point. We want to take the standard foot off the machine and we're going to place the zipper foot on the machine. In this case, the zipper has a left and a right side. We're going to actually place it on the left-hand side of this foot so we can get as close to the edge of this fabric as possible and as close to the zipper as possible. Now we're going to start at the top 
And what we want to do is stitch as close to the zipper as we can without stitching the zipper itself and as close to the edge of the fabric as possible. I like to sew starting about a half of an inch from the top and backing up to the edge versus starting to start at the edge and coming forward. That way you'll actually get a bit better result. So we're going to go backwards first. And we've, once we've got it anchored, we're going to continue sewing. Again, staying as close to the edge as you can, comfortably. Not sewing over pins. You'll notice that my thread is kind of a dark color, and the reason that is is simply for the sake of the camera so you can see better. I would normally just use a tone-on-tone -tone fabric so that my stitches is blended into the fabric. I've opened the zipper the entire length so I don't have to fight that zipper pull on this portion of the installation. And just before the end, we're going to readjust, make certain we're keeping that eighth of an inch really static and stable, that we're keeping the edge of the fabric with the edge of the zipper teeth, and continue right down to the bottom. where we will backstitch and then take the f fabric off of the machine. And there's our first portion. Okay. The next step is to go ahead and close the zipper. And there we are. Now by virtue of rolling that fabric out an eighth of an inch this way, it's going to actually place the fabric ever so slightly and the zipper ever so slightly under that other seam allowance so that when we pin this in place, it'll be entirely covered. So we've sewn the first portion of the zipper into place, okay, backstitched at the bottom, took it off the machine. What we're going to do now is go ahead and pin the fabric in place for the additional portion of it. We'll pin at the bottom. Okay. And what you want to do is ever so slightly overlap the fabric so that it covers. Don't worry about the zipper pull. When we get to it, we're going to move it out of the way as we're sewing. In this case, we're actually going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Now, once we've pinned that into place, we're going to start at the bottom, and we want to start right at the edge. We want to come right across like that, and then we're going to sew up right along the edge of the zipper teeth that you, on the other side, and that will create the lap for us. Again, here, you want to start right at the, about a half of an inch over from it, and then back up to it versus trying to start at the edge and coming this way. If you start at the edge and come this way, sometimes the fabric wants to bind. So it's better to back up and then come back across. I say it's actually, I said half of an inch, but let's call it about three-eighths of an inch, and it's usually about five stitches, four or five, depending on the length of your stitch. In this case, my stitch length should be 2.0 for the weight of the fabric we're working with. And then we're going to come back across. and drop the needle, and what we want to do is feel for those teeth to make certain we're on the other edge of them. And then we're going to come down this side and just ride right along the edge of the teeth all the way up. It's better to take this slow than to move too fast and have to redo it. Of course, remove your pins as you come to them. It's never a good choice to sew over or through pins. And just before the zipper pull at the top that's actually nestled right there, we're going to put the needle in the fabric. We're going to raise the foot up to remove the foot, get the foot out of our way. And we'll go ahead and pull that zipper pull all the way down to, so we can get past it. Otherwise, you get a big bump in your stitch line. And we don't want that. and just stitch right off the edge. Once you've done that, cut your threads, clean up your work, and your lap zipper is installed. Thank you for joining us for this edition of So You Know. I'm Russell Conti with Sewing Arts Center, and if you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call. You can reach us online at sewyouknow.com or sewingartscenter.com. Look forward to more instructional media coming very soon. Thanks.